Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we'll be talking about a recent automation I made for a client, which is a SEO optimized article writer. Now, before we begin, if you face any issue while making this workflow, please feel free to book a call with me using the link in the description. As always, before I tell you the technicality behind this automation, we'll be discussing the business use case behind it as well as the architecture. Okay, so what we need, what, uh, what is the bus basic business requirement? We need to enter a keyword and based on this keyword, I want an SE optimized uh, totally original blog written for me and saved it in Google Sheet. So I have an article here which is saved it into a Google Sheet. Correct? Great. Alright, so now let's understand the architecture behind it. So we'll be using an edit form here. We have a form. In the form, we'll be getting this keyword. And uh, after getting the keyword, we are going to scrape listed articles from Google. So we are going to scrape a list of Google listed articles. Since these articles are listed on Google, they will be SEO optimized automatically. After scraping Google listed articles, what we need to do is we need to scrape text from these articles. Correct. After we are done scraping the text, we will have an array of text. Correct. After getting this array of article text, what we need to do is we need to use a GPT-4 mini model. We can use GPT-01 here as well. We will use GPT-01. We'll use GPT-01 model to write an article based uh, to write a description text for an article. So this will give description text. Uh, uh, this will consist of a paragraph which will define what the article is going to be all about. Now based on the description text as well as the article pages, we'll ask uh, the AI, another AI agent to write first draft of article. So we'll have a first uh, draft of the article. After we have that, what we can do is we'll again send this to G, uh, AI agent and we'll ask him to humanize it. Humanize. After this, we, uh, our article will be complete and we can directly save this to Google Sheet. Alright, so the, I think the architecture should look fine to you. We are using, uh, we are getting the keyword from an attend form. Then we are scraping it using Google listed articles and then we are getting the text from the articles. After this, we are getting the description text uh, about where the article is going to be revolving on. And then we'll be using uh, then we'll be using another GPT own model to write the first draft of the article. We'll humanize the article and then we'll save it to Google Sheet. All right, great. So now let's see what APIs are we going to be using. So to scrape a list of Google listed articles, we can use this Google, Google Custom Search API. This uh, this takes in a keyword and it returns a list of all the pages which are listed on Google. So for this, we'll be using. Google custom search API. Now to extract text from article pages, I found a very good, uh, very good API from AP5, which is this article text extractor. We'll be using this API to extract the te text which is present on the article page. So to extract the text, we'll be using AP5 article text. And I think we'll be using only these two APIs for this entire workflow. All right, so now we're done with the architecture. Now let's head over to our edit and workflow and let's see what the workflow is about. So as I said, we are getting, we are using this on form submission to get the keyword. Um, then we're using uh, our custom search API to get a list of articles. And then here I'm using a list, uh, here I'm using a code flow to block articles from these domains. 
this was a custom requirement because I did not want to use any articles who are listed on Quora, Medium, Reddit or LinkedIn. After we have done that, uh, we are using AP5 to extract the text from the article page. Now we, we have used loop since we ha will have an array of articles and then, then we will be extracting text from all the articles. After we have done that, we will be getting the entire JSON like this. And in the text value, you can see we have the entire text from the article. We are feeding this to another code block where we are converting this to only article text. After this, we are feeding this to our GPT-01 mini O1 model. We're using GPT-01, yeah. We're using GPT-01 model to filter out the useless content from this text. So uh, this entire text can contain a few useless items like learn how, dates, we do not need this. So we'll be clearing this out using this AI agent. Now we are using this particular uh, code block to combine all the articles into one format. Now we have an array of articles. Uh, we have an array of article text. Now using this array, we'll start another loop and we'll ask to create a dynamic briefing doc, which I explained here, a uh, description text. This will give me a description text of the article which I need. And this will also convert this into Dutch. Since this uh, the entire workflow is in Dutch. Alright, so now we're done with the dynamic briefing. Let's start by writing the article. So I've given a good prompt here. I'm giving out the entire text of the articles. And uh, this is the prompt which I'm using. That you are a professional article writer. And you have to use human-like tone. And uh, this is the detailed... I'm giving out the keyword of the article here. I'm, I've said it that you you have to use 1500 words and then I'm giving out the combined articles. I've also given out a basic structure of the article here and uh, I've, asked it, I've given a very refined prompt which is going to give me a very refined article. Now I'm using another AI agent to humanize this article. So I'm using another AI agent to refine the article even further. I've also specified that the entire article should be in touch since this entire workflow is for a Dutch client. Great. Now I'm using a Google Sheet API to feed this, feed the entire text article into my Google Sheet. When I head over to my Google Sheet, now as you can see here, we have two columns in a Google Sheet. One is keyword and another is article. Here's the keyword which was entered in an edit form and we, then we have the article here. So the entire article is written in Dutch because the entire workflow was made for a Dutch client. It's a very systemized article. You can see all the, all the headings, all the subheadings. And then the user can directly copy and paste this to their blocking sites. So that is where our workflow comes to an end. If you face an issue while making this workflow, please feel free to book a call with me using the link in the description. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.